Yo, what's going on guys? Flames in here and today I'll be doing some technical analysis and also a price prediction on strong or strong block. Before we get into it, if you could leave a like, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to join my telegram in the link in the description, it's just general crypto discussions here and there and I'll also be posting different trades that I make every day. And lastly, if you would like to make up to $100 for free in Bitcoin, just join the block file link in the description as well. Now just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we're starting off here on coin market cap and we have a $42,000 Bitcoin and we have just under a $3,000 Ethereum. Now, if we move on over here to TradingView, take a quick look here at BTC. We'll drop back here to the daily. As I do mention, this is my more messy chart because I trade it on low time frames. but we are currently above all of our moving averages. We did get a wick down onto them yesterday, but we actually managed to get a nice bounce off. That is also confident with the upper end of that symmetrical triangle that I have been talking about. Even if we do drop back to the four hour here, we did get a nice breakout, got the retest there, and then we have started to push up. So I do not think that this is a deviation like we have had a good few times. This does look like a proper breakout, and we hopefully will continue on up towards this yearly open. We've got a nice breakout there, formed a descending parallel channel there, and then we did actually manage to get a nice breakout. Now we are currently at this resistance at around $42,200. We could see a rejection off that, maybe coming down to around this level, which would give us a higher low compared to back here. And then hopefully we could continue on up flipping that to support. But even if you do keep an eye on this for now, we could get the breakout and hold it and then continue on up. So this is definitely a level that you should be looking at to see if we manage to sort of break through or reject off it. Now, as I have previously mentioned in a good few videos, if we take a look at this pair here, and we'll go auto and drop even back to the two day here. I have been mentioning if we do manage to get up towards the yearly open, which is around 46,200, I'm pretty sure, we should once flip that to support, push on up towards the equilibrium of this parallel channel. And if we do manage to flip that as well, I would say we will definitely be continuing towards the upside, towards that 70K mark, bringing Bitcoin up to new highs. But we could easily see a rejection of that and come down. So this is also another sort of strong resistance that is fairly important here. So hopefully we do manage to continue on up there, hold that breakout that we did just get. Don't fall down here and make a lower low. But if we do manage to push up towards the yearly open, that is a higher high compared to these three highs back here. And I would say that that is a break in the structure and we could be reversing the trend. Now I will move back on over here to coin market cap and we will take a look at strong. And it is currently sitting at rank number 757. We're at $149, we're down 6.55% today. Our market cap is 20.8 million. Our circulating supply is 138,000 and that is 26% of our max supply, which is 528,000. Now if we move down here, our all time high is sitting at that is a blatant lie we'll move over here and move down to the chart i think it's like 1000 yeah 1200 there and that was our swing high back in october so we have seen quite a substantial retracement from there but we'll move back here if you want to do a small read you can have a read three coin market caps right up there just pause the video or if you would like to do a little bit more fundamental research you can move on up here towards their website which is strongblock.io and this will show you everything that you need to know and help you make your decision on whether you would actually like to invest in this. Now, the main reason why people are buying this is as you can see, create your node. You can create a Polygon node or an ETH node and this will give you passive income. The Ethereum node gives you, I think it's around 0 0.09 strong per day and the Polygon one is actually 0 0.125 strong per day. So it is beautiful passive income. You absolutely love to see it. And I actually did pick myself up a Polygon node there not that long ago. It has earned me over 1.5 strong in what, like two weeks maybe. And it's great to just see passive income coming in from you doing absolutely nothing. But we'll move back on over here to coin market cap. If you do actually go over there and figure that you want to buy yourself some, you can actually come over here, click on markets, and this will show you where you can pick yourself some up. So Uniswap is the number one volume holder there with 50.41%. Then you've got Qcoin, Gate.io, Bittrue, Who. There's a few there, but I would just be sticking to the high confidence ones. I personally bought mine over on KuCoin and then transferred it over to my MetaMask, and that was the least amount of fees. Now, we'll move on over here to TradingView. We'll do some technical analysis on Strong, and then I will also give you a price prediction as well towards the end. So we're currently on the daily here, and as you can see, I'll actually turn off the volume so it's a little easier. We did actually manage to get a close above our 8 EMA there yesterday. We are currently fighting with it right now. We might close the daily below it. We are currently sitting on some support that I have marked up there at around $50. 
even if we drop back here to the 4 hour, we'll click auto again. We are currently above that support on the 4 hour. If we do manage, if we do manage to get a close above that, then I would be hoping that we would be testing this more macro trend line. As you can see, we have got a good bit of price action in and around that level. It did start off there the whole way back here in February. We wicked into it there in May, and then we have come back down to it here. So if we do manage to get the daily close above that, I would be hoping that we could get a nice bounce on up towards this area here, which is also conflict with that 20 moving average. That is support that I've had marked up here from back in April there. It has also got a good bit of price action. As you can see, it was resistance here. We did manage to flip it to support, and that is when we push on up towards new highs there. Then we did come down there, hold it for a while, but unfortunately we did get that bearish rejection and push down. So if you are looking to place yourself some buy orders on strong, we could easily come up and reject off this trend line. And if we do, and drop down below this 150 mark again. You see us get a bearish retest on this, then we could easily be coming down towards this $93 mark. Now, I would definitely be buying another note if we came down to around those levels. That means you could pick a note up for $930. Now, we'll mark this $107 mark up here as well. And if we move back, is there any sort of price action around there? So $107, we did actually get a good bit around there. So you could be laddering your buy orders from around that $107 mark all the way down there to that $93 mark. So just from around here to here. If you do see us come down to around $93, we do get the bearish retest on that and then fall down lower. Then you could be picking yourself up some in and around $57. But in my opinion, I would like to hope that the bottom is in. If Bitcoin does start pushing on up here, we do see it break that yearly open then I would say that this was the bottom. We'll manage to flip this to support, reverse the trend here, and start climbing up through these resistances towards our previous all-time highs. Now, I don't have a BTC pair to show you where you can actually place your bar orders with your sats. So we'll just take a look at this here. And if we run a fib from our tops there at around $1,200, all the way down there to our bottom. I don't know why that's all yellow. What's that about? No idea, because as you can see, these are all sort of black. I'll just take off that background for now because that's kind of gross. It used to be gray and then it was red where these were. I don't know what happened. But if we do manage to sort of flip this to support, continue breaking through these resistances and even breaking this macro trend line that we do have drawn up here, I would say that that would definitely be the bottom, you could call it. And we should be sort of pushing on up here towards previous highs. And if we do manage to do that, flip this to support and get into price discovery, then I could easily see Strong pushing up towards this 1.618 which is just shy of that $2,000 mark at around $1,880. Now, if we keep moving on up here, our 2.618 is just sitting below that psychological $3,000 mark. And honestly, I think that is not out of the picture for strong either. The fundamentals are really good in this. The team that they have working behind this are constantly putting out updates. They're doing AMAs, letting everyone know what's actually going on. They have been around for a while, so I do think this project is sustainable. And I think that $3,000 is not hard for strong to hit. I've said before, I think we could be pushing up towards $4,000 at a 3.618 and maybe even up towards 5K at around that 4.618. Before now, we will keep it a little bit more conservative. I think we could be pushing up to these prices because this is such a low market cap coin and it has the fundamentals to push it up there. Now, if we do take our calculators out here and see what sort of money it would take us to get up to 3K. So we'll go 3,000 divided by our current price, which is $151.76. So that would give us a 19.7x from current prices for a $3,000 strong. Now, if we move over here and multiply this by our market cap, that is multiplied by 21,044,075. And that would actually give us a $416 million market cap for a $3,000 strong. Now, if we move over here and see where that would put us here on the ranks, I'd say that, well, below half a million would probably be towards page four. Oh, it's not even if it's actually moved up. So we'll go on over here to PH3. 416 million would actually put us here just below Metis, moving Whitecoin out of 225th position. Now, as I have previously mentioned, if Bitcoin does get another bull run up towards previous highs and does break them, then there will be so much more new money flowing into this total market cap that $400 million could easily be pushed out towards this top 300 and maybe even higher. And if you do understand the fundamentals that Strong has, the team that they have working behind it, and what they're actually striving for, then you will know that it could easily be pushing up to top 300, bringing it up towards that $3,000 mark, valuing it at around a $416 million market cap. 
I hope that's what you wanted to hear. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.